Others. Um, I don't need to repeat now all the statistics, the litany, the dirty laundry that we have of our past governments. It actually was the ADP in 2005 who got all the parties to sign on unanimously in Parliament, voted unanimously to commit to the 0.78. And it was the NDP in the Martin minority government that forced change in the budget, the historic NDP budget that shifted billions of dollars, I think it was five billion dollars, to go to corporate tax write-offs, a big portion to go to foreign aid. We managed to raise, I think it was about 0.2 percent gross national product for foreign aid, up to 3 percent, or 3.4 percent. Then we get the Conservatives, who of course had signed on to commit to the 0.7 percent, and we've been sliding back downwards again. Unfortunately, we have now been successful in this minority parliament to force a change in the tax, corporate tax write-offs of, of the Conservatives because the Liberals have supported them every step of the way, either by not showing up to vote or by voting in favour of further corporate tax cut Conservative agenda. There is nothing more important than organisations like Grandmothers for Grandmothers both here in Canada and in Africa. I've worked for more than 35 years trying to empower communities dealing with environment and health issues. It is the only way to bring about change. It's not for Canada to tell the African leadership what to do. It is for Africans to tell the African leadership what to do. But it's up to Canadians to get our government to commit the dollars, to give support to groups like Grandmothers for Grandmothers, to support the communities on the ground in Africa, to step forward and look after the orphans, the millions millions of orphans in Africa due to the AIDS plague. And I completely applaud these women. These women have been valiantly, absolutely, valiantly going across Canada. There's an organization here at Clark, Edmonton, I don't know where else in the, in the area now. All kinds of groups of ground bill. Warrenville, yay Warrenville. Right across Canada with their petition to make the government live up to its commitment not just for, you know, supporting the grandmothers for grandmothers, but, but for need generally, and specifically to support on the ground. Mr. Harper has embarrassed us all by not showing up to any of the AIDS conferences since he was elected. He's refused to give support to the on the ground assistance, instead wants to give it to just more health research support. But we need on the ground support. So you can count on me, that's why I'm running. I'm tired of fighting government. Somebody has got to get in there and help the new Democratic opposition to speak up, to bring forward matters in Parliament. And unlike, unfortunately, our current elected representatives, when the grandmothers for grandmothers want to table a petition in Parliament calling for assistance for programs like Aid for Women in Africa, I will be there on the phone taking their call and immediately taking that petition to Parliament. So please, take copies of the petition, get your neighbours to sign it, but more importantly, get out there in this election, which is perhaps an illegal election, but we are unfortunately are, are forced to participate in it. So we're participating with great glee, we're going to take this riding and we're going to bring your issue to Parliament. Thanks a lot.